Hello everybody and welcome back to Honeybunny Games, my name is Twister and today we are once again playing Park Tech. So, this game is now finally out on Steam and I've been itching to play it again, so we'll go ahead and start a new park, we'll save it immediately. Okay, just to be super safe, not a name park, that is a boring name for a park. We're gonna call it... Uh, full Steam Ahead Park. Yeah! We saved the game. Awesome, so we, we are back in Park Tech. This is the map, as you might know. I don't remember the controls. How do you actually tilt the game? Hold on. Hold on, controls. QE to rotate. How do I tilt? There is a way to tilt, I know that. Let's look at places up to the lead. Scroll wheel to zoom. Camera pan, camera dragging. Mouse to map view. That's, that's panning. Hotkeys. There was a way to, like, tilt. I don't remember how it was. You can like turn around, I know that. Middle doesn't do anything, the right click doesn't do anything. I don't know what's... It, it, it did something previously, I don't know what's up with that. So, there have been a few updates in the meantime, we have a lot of new cool things. We have blueprints over here. There's some defaults that we have. We can, ooh, these are very nice actually, all of them. Small nature walks. So, blueprints can now include everything, not just roller coaster. They can include roller coaster, but they can also include other things. Outdoor food court with shops. That's actually really nice. We can place that over here if we want to. That's actually looks it looks so good. I love this so much. I love this feature so much. I will be downloading new stuff from the uh from Bugatech Nexus as we move along. There's also some new pads here, so we can have like these pads like that. We can have these pads, which are also new. Yeah, we have these old pads. We have these pads, which are also like this. So they, they we have four pads now, which is awesome. What else we have? A better way to sort these things, which is a very, very welcome addition, very, very welcome change. These are still, I think we maybe added one of these. I think we had like a little hole in this area, so maybe they added something. Maybe they didn't add that, I'm just going crazy. Utilities, this is new. Staff room. I don't know if, I'm not sure if this actually does anything with just cosmetic, but this is the room for your staff to take a break. I don't think they actually rest on, um, I don't think they actually rest on benches anymore. You gotta have this thing. Rest legit. There's some new rides. We have uh, the Turbulon is a new ride, I think. Yeah, also the Spiral Slide is new. It's cool. Coasters we have. I think there's two new coasters. I could be totally wrong, though. Uh, I think the Giga Coaster is new. I'm not sure, though. And then we have the uh, Monorail. The not just Pandora, but we have the normal Monorail, which is pretty cool. So these guys are just walking around doing nothing. Let's just delete everything over here. It's really easy to delete stuff. Uh, ooh, there's a circle in the middle. Alright. I'm just trying to like figure out how to like rotate. Because I knew these things, it's possible. But I'm too dumb to remember. Oh wait, it's, it's okay, it's hold alt and then uh, use middle mouse to pan. That's right, that's how it's done. Alright, so we can still do that, awesome. We can press M to see the map. That's basically all the basics of, of park you need to know. So, I'll be making our park a bit better than before. We're gonna try to be a bit more organized. Can I, how far can I zoom out in the map mode? Let's see. Like, I can zoom out this far. Alright, it, it's it's a pretty damn big park. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the the zones. You can assign people to zones, you can assign like workers to zones. You have workers over here. But I will get some zones here. I wanna, wanna do things a little bit more organized. Because previously they were very, it was very, very hectic. And I don't feel like we did a really good job at making our park nice. So, we're gonna have, this is gonna be our entrance area. Uh, this corner, it's it's a very, very tight corner, but we could still maybe squeeze some stuff in here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we could have a lake here at the edge. Yeah, that sounds actually pretty nice. We have a lake at the edge. I have to go for a walk or something. I don't know. So we have this, this is our entrance area. Over here, we're gonna have the big entrance corridor. We can actually extend it a little bit. I like that. How wide is it? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's actually one. Okay, good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It doesn't have to be correct. I just want to like have a, have a have a rough idea of doing how I'm gonna do the, do things. No, hold on, remove this, cover it up. Okay, so we have that thing. It's like our entrance corridor for everyone to like move along. Like, walk around to see some stuff is gonna be the main like the main road of the park. If you get over here, you're gonna have this big area over here. It's gonna be our like, at the center of a park, here we're gonna have, like, paths and just do different areas. So, for example, over here, we're gonna have an area of the park. 
Which is good. Cause this is gonna be like one area of the park. Over here we're gonna have a door. It's gonna be the entrance. We're gonna have like a big gate to this area of the park. It's gonna be something entirely different. Over here we're gonna have another door that leads to this entrance of the park. Actually, I just realized I reached the edge already. Oh man, it's actually a lot bigger than I <laughs> realized. This is a, a lot longer than I anticipated. That's fine, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Have a big area that goes like over here. There's gonna be one other area. And we can actually maybe make it a little bit asymmetrical. So let's make it like this. It's gonna be another area of the park. I like that. Uh, let's actually extend this thing because we have plenty of room going upwards. Let's actually maybe make it a little bit like thicker. Yeah, I like that. I like it. We can have another area of the park over here. Because previously I was just doing things randomly, I didn't actually plan everything out. This time I want to plan things out to make it maybe a little bit more... A little bit more organized, if you will. It's our, like, main area. I should probably rename the zones. Hold on, if I like, rename the zones, if I rename it to the... The path. Main path, okay. Yes, it doesn't show up on the map unless we are... Zoomed in a bit, which is okay. Okay, so we have this... I can change the areas, this is just a rough idea, it doesn't have to be... Super accurate. So we can have a door here, we can have a door here, a door here, a door here. Have another area. They're all a bit squarish. I don't know if I'm like a huge fan of that. Let's have like a square, just a nice square over here. That is mighty fine. Let's have like a big, let's have a big area over here. It's gonna be a big area. Then we're gonna have. Let's actually just extend this a little bit like this. Make it a little bit, like, not as properly symmetrical. Make it a little bit more wild and crazy. Uh, let's like, remove... Remove this part of the thing, I guess. Remove this thing, and we can have, like... Hold on. We have this as an area of the park, so we're gonna, like, walk in. It's gonna be all the entrances we have. This thing, we can fill it in with, like, the remainders that we have over here. So we can, for example, like, do something like this. And, like this we can do this thing and go all the way like that make it a little bit wild a little bit crazy let's, let's do something like this to make it a little bit more i don't know more a bit nicer a bit nicer yeah do this we can do this we can always change these this is not like a final thing uh i might as well like extend this one into this one a little bit just to make it a little bit not as properly symmetrical because that that doesn't always look that nice or does it nah it doesn't I also have like this one extend over here a little bit. The pad is fine. These are also okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Awesome. Let's um. Uh... Now we can't see anything. Ah, oh, great. Okay, so let's uh. Is there like a way to turn on zones here? Can have the grid underground hide scenery. I don't want to hide stuff. People no no views. The problem with that is that now we actually can't properly see this because if we like yeah. Hold on, I think I can maybe like sticky the thing if I open this. I cannot sticky the zones, huh? That's kind of unfortunate. So I want to have this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I want to have a path like in this block over here. I have a path on like one, two, three, four. I want to have a path over here. Let's do that. Just it's gonna be our marker temporarily. Let's like link this all the way here. Yep, it's it's a nice nice little effect. Be our main like path. It's gonna be our main road over here. We could make it a bit thicker. Hold on, because this is the main main road, right? And yeah, there's people in here. Let's make it a bit thicker. No, no don't give me, give me back this. I need this back. They can only put place it in lines. That's correct. Okay, this is gonna be like our big entrance road that leads into our park, which is just splendid. And then we're gonna like this area is gonna be covered in this path. We're gonna make it all all. Uh, like tiles like this, because that looks nice. This is gravel, right? I mean, it also looks fairly nice. I don't feel it's, it's the right option for us right now. So if we go back into our blueprints, if we want onto a terraforming thing, this needs to go all the way... Hold on. So we have a thing... over here, right? Did I mess it up? I didn't. Then we have a path point over here. All right, and then we can like, connect these two bad boys. Nice. 
probably should, shouldn't be actually do, be doing this. It's just like one among the edges of it right now. So I know where my limits are. No limits, stay within it. That's what I say. And I'm gonna listen. Game saved, auto save, unnamed park. Oh, yeah, we have to I think we have to like reload the park or something. I don't know. Um. Oh, because I didn't rename my park, right? Hold on, I'm gonna do that in a second. Just give me, give me, a, give me a minute here. Like, get this thing over here, and we have our last. Can I actually sticky this? I cannot. Why can't I sticky those? I don't know. Can I sticky these either? Hmm. That is properly placed. Yeah. Okay. Good. And we have one last thing over here in this very block. All right. So that, that's that's fine. That's awesome. Uh, let's close the menus. Here, let's rename this to... Let's have like a free admission for... Let's, let's actually have two bucks admission, I don't care. It's opened. Graphs, we are spending money, that's fine. Let's rename the park to... Full steam ahead! Awesome. Wait, so we have our main, like... Court area designated, we have our main path designated. We will decorate that path later on, we'll make everything look cool. But first of all... Uh, we have like this corner area over here, right? Yeah, so we want to go into our Into our like decorations or something where do we have like we have structures we have a lot of structures pavilions yeah. pillars Let's look at the walls. We have a lot. There's a lot more walls now I will be adding mods by the way, but I want to wait for the game to officially release on Steam first So it's gonna be I don't want to have the same problem I had in my last series where a mod stopped updating and I it was just the park just what became unplayable which is really unfortunate, really sad. I'm really, really sad about that. Like, let's have like a normal wall over here. You can always change that for later if you want. Uh, how do you rotate stuff? Hold on. Backspace, enter, shift, control, oh, oh, space. Good. I forget, it's been a while. Could just drag it too if you want. Okay. Alright, let's have it like that. Just a, like a temp. That's not how you play stuff. Just like a temporary thing to know where my edges are. Uh, I cannot stick at this again. Kind of unfortunate. Okay, make a blue. Can I make like a blueprint? Hold on. Rectangle selection. Yes. Make a blueprint of like this wall over here. Yeah. Okay. Create. Like wall section. Save. All right. So now we have a wall section. We just place this wherever we want. It's gonna be a lot easier to nagle things around like this. Um, that'd be nice. That allows us to make things a little bit more easily. If we go into our terraforming menu, this is the edge, so we're gonna actually just remove like these two. That's the wrong one. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter though. Hold on. Let's do this. I wanna remove like. Like these two things, these two things. So this is the edge between the things. This is the edge between the areas. I'm gonna go to the blueprints. Blueprints are over here. I'm gonna go to this thing, wall sections, rotate it a bit and get like a wall here. It, it's not, just so we can see where our sections are. So this is gonna be our section over here. We're gonna be focusing on this one first. We're gonna be making some nice stuff in this area. So. Let's see what we have. Let's, let's get a, like a static ride. We want to have a lot of food in and whatnot in here. We'll be doing that. Let's actually try placing down one of these like default ones. Uh, like the garden plaza. Or actually the food court. With shops. Outdoor food court with shops. Small nature walk. Whole section. Yes. How, what, is, what is this like? This is... That, that looks really nice. That looks really nice I have to say. It has... It, ha oh, it also has like the access for the workers. That's right. Uh, can I undo that? How do I... I gotta, like, move everything manually. I wanna get rid of it. On. I wish they, added, they would add, like, a delete tool. They don't wanna add that for some reason, I don't know. I don't know why. I think it would be really good. To have one of those, because it can be a pain to, like, remove stuff. Especially wanna... I wanna place a blueprint down like this, and I don't know how it's gonna look, because it's a bit transparent. I do want to be able to just undo stuff that I do, but there's no undo right now, which is unfortunate, so I'm gonna just remove everything manually. I will make stuff here, but it's gonna be better. It's gonna be made by me, and it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be glorious. Also, I'll probably, like, just go into in here, and can I, like, do this? I cannot. I'll remove this. 
Yeah, let's get that. Let's get the bat over here. Let's get a, no, no, let's have like a triple bat. Actually. Triple bat, we're gonna have an entrance to this area over here. So we're gonna have like a little entrance over here. It's gonna go like this. It's gonna be the edge. We're gonna have stuff in the edge over here. Uh, and we're gonna go all the way like here with the bat. We can make it a bit more wild. We can have like a forest theater. It's gonna be like a walk in the park. I did say that we were gonna have a, a like a pond here. Let's actually get a pond here. Let's, uh, let's ditch this. Let's go to a terraforming. Let's get um, a bit bigger. Let's get this like lowered a bit. Make a little lake. Make a little lake thing for us. For our nice people who are in our nice park. Make a little lake. We're gonna have like a floating stuff. Floating stuff on the floating lake. It's gonna be our... Parkitect lake. We're gonna have like a Parkitect river over here, maybe. Hold on, if we like go for the straight edges over here. Have a Parkitect river if we want. That seems nice. It's it's a very sharp river right now, but we can make it we can make it smooth if you just so choose. Go over here. We're gonna fill it with water. Uh, hold shift to raise water. Let's not fill everything with water. That'll be kind of silly. But we can go like all the way to the a little bit below the edge. Maybe all the way to the edge. Maybe a little bit below the edge. Don't fill everything with water. That would be very very bad. We can do it like this. Yeah, that, that seems fine. That that looks fairly cool. So we have like our park. Um. You walk in here, go in high side. I can actually turn on the peep cam, some tab, and I can walk around. This is our park now. Way you can fall down the water. You walk inside. There's gotta be decorations and whatnot around here, so don't worry about that. We go over here, get into the park. There's a lot of mouse sensitivity here. You walk around. You see like the big. It's gonna be like a probably like something big here. Signify that it's important. And you can go into this little area. We're gonna have like a like a lake and like a little walk around. And it's gonna be very, 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 very nice. But yeah, I'm gonna actually end this first episode of Architect Steam Edition here. If you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. Helps out a great, great deal more than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Hanabana Games. I will see you next time.